Bear 1000 here. <coughs> Excuse me. Today, we've got an unboxing video and a product review video. So let's see what's in the box together. Let's check it out. Okay guys, I just got this package in the mail today. Well, it was um, FedEx. So, let's go ahead and open this up. And we'll see what's in here. I know what's in here. It's something I've been needing for a while. I mean, it's not a necessity. But man, actually kind of in, in my case out here sometimes, it, it pretty much is. Uh, and it was cheap, so... I bought it. Hmm. If we can get this thing open. I usually like to try to save these boxes if I can for eBay stuff. Eh, it's salvageable. Um, I thought this thing might be a little heavier than this, but... I'm glad it's not kind of, but anyway. Okay. Big giant bubble wrap, guys. Poppies. Okay, there's my receipt. I can tell you how much it was. 44 bucks. Okay. This is what we got. It was $44, so it's a motorized pan head. Compatible with mirrorless action cameras camcorders which we have and smartphones so we're gonna open this up we're gonna try it out the box there says it has batteries in it so it must be rechargeable you know I didn't even think to look at that but <laughs> but there's a little remote now I don't I don't know I haven't seen anyone do a review on these I'm not saying they haven't. I'm not saying I'm the first one. I'm just saying I haven't seen it. So, uh, the only real homework I could do on it was just, you know, looking for reviews. There's not many reviews on it. Um, it did have good reviews, but, like, no one commenting. You know what I mean? So, this is how you, uh, oh, oh, um, there's your instructions. <laughs> Anyway, so here's the features. All functions are controlled using the remote control. Three operating modes. 360, 360 degree continuous rotation. 120 degree side to side swing. And time lapse mode. The three, uh, it's got three speeds, speed selections in each mode. Um... Maximum load about two pounds, so we're good there. Uh, it does, it says power requirements two pieces, triple A batteries not included, four hours runtime. That's okay because I think I've got I've got rechargeables, but it says here it's got batteries, so I don't know. We'll, we'll just see. It also has this, so I don't know. Also, what it comes with this is for your cell phone. Put your cell phone in. Um, one of these is for a GoPro. One's for an action cam. Okay, and there's the remote. Um, there's the battery for it in the remote. I thought it went up and down, but I guess it don't. I wish it did, but at least it'll go side to side. I'd rather see it, you know, go up and down. That's never good. The switch is on already. Except for the batteries in here that we did. So. Nope. Okay, but it looks like we can uh, we can actually plug it in. DC 5 volt. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do. I'm going to get me a couple batteries. <clears throat> and stick in here. And I'm going to set it up on the camera. I'll, 
I'll, I'll get the camera set up. I'll get Monkey's camera and show you how it is set up. And then we'll try it out. So yeah, I was thinking it went up and down too, like like this. But it don't. I wish it did. But anyway, let's let's just give it a shot and see. And um, okay, well first let's go ahead and, and we'll put our battery in the remote. Um, pretty self-explanatory, but uh, these just pull out like this. For those of you that don't know. And they always come flying out like that too. Okay. Well, this battery is probably a 2332. Let me get it out of here and look. Yeah. I said 2332. It's a 2032. Well, can you see it? 2032. All right. Now, this is going to go in like this. It really can only go one way. Well. It don't work we know why so there all right it's working see the light yeah that's how you can check your remotes if they're working put it up your camera push a button so we got auto pan we got swing left right time lapse and the speed all right let me get you set up here and i'll get monkey's camera i'll show you how it's set up and we'll go from there okay guys this is how it's set up we've got the camera here the mic all this does this screws onto your camera and then your base plate for your tripod just screws onto that so you just put this on just like you would you just putting on your camera and then put your camera on top of it like I said it's got these extra little things here that will screw onto the top you can put your camera on to change the angle there you got this for your GoPro or action cam and you got this this little thing for the um, well here let's get it out of the package here This is what it looks like and all this does is just um, it just pulls up and clips onto your phone but I have another one right here for my phone um, this came with my I bought another tripod too this one's acting up on me but this you just unscrew that and it opens it up and then you just snug it up and you can also swivel this you can put this on there you can take this piece clear off if you want so I've got all kinds of adapters okay so let's try this thing out okay guys I've got it turned on now I'm just going to pan left and right for now so what you do is I'm going to push swing the swing button so point it at that and see it's starting to turn and it's turning slow and I can speed it up with the speed button that's medium and that's fast so I'll bring you back around here and I'll stop you so let's do let's see it also has auto pan which that's auto pan so that's pretty cool now stop it let's um so what i figured this would be good for is time lapse because if you're time lapsing the moon you know it wants to go out of frame so i figure you know time lapse would be cool when i'm time lapsing videos <laughs> excuse me guys so let's do let's just let's just let it go clear around in circles alright so I'm gonna do auto pan there's slow there's medium and there's fast seems to be a little shaky and I don't like that 
I don't like that at all. Now they got these that are really expensive. But I didn't need an expensive one. I wish it would go up and down, but it doesn't. Um, but I mainly got it for time lapsing. And I just thought, you know, I, I thought it would be handy, so... I know you guys probably didn't hear that, but this thing just uh, just made a noise. As you can see, it shut off. Just made like a, a buzzing noise for some reason. But, yeah, I mean, you know, it's just... You know, when I want to get in frame or whatever, I can get myself in frame. Bam. And there we go. And, you know, my uh, the camera also works off my phone, so I can do the zoom and stuff from right here. So the only thing I'll have to still do is um, I'll still have to, you know, adjust this. Like, if I set it up and it's like that, you know, if I got you back a good ways and, you know, let's say... Here, let's get you back here. Still trying to get the garage organized. Okay, so I'm a good ways back. So I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. I don't know if that's about right or not. But, okay, so now I'm going to swing it to the right. I'm going to take my glasses off to see you now. And when I feel like it's in shot where I want it to be, I'll just hit swing again and it'll stop. So if I want to keep going, I can go like that. I can take it back. And stop. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. And like I said, I can use use my phone to zoom in on. Now my phone's out here. But I don't have it. I don't have it paired up. Well, I mean it is, but I got to turn that on and then that on. But so as you can see, it does work pretty good. Now I'm not sure. Uh, one of the re reviews, or uh, it was actually a question someone asked: Can you hear it when it's turning? And someone said they have not noticed it. So I won't be able to tell until I, you know, play it back, and we'll see. But I did notice it was jerking a little bit. So, let's give you one more pan here. That'll be handy for outside shots. You know, when I want to do a slow pan of a lake or sunset or something. Do a swing, turn the speed up. But hopefully, with the built in gimbal, the built in stabilizer, it says 360, I didn't get 360 degrees out of it. But hopefully, with that uh, built in stabilizer, you don't notice it too much. Okay, let's hit that. Um, 360. Let's see. Continuous rotation. Number one. Where's number one? Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's do the continuous rotation, speed, and I'll take you around this way. This is fast. It's just got slow, medium, and fast.
Now I seen it kind of jerk there for a second. But. And there we go. There it is. So, am I happy with it so far? Yeah, it'll do what I need to do. Like I said, I thought it would go up and down. I don't know why I think that, but I looked at so many of them. I looked at hundreds of them. And I wanted one in a price range that I could afford. And I thought $44 free shipping was affordable. So, like I said, I will use that quite a bit. It will help me out. So, yeah. Yeah, I can dig it. But I'll let you guys know also in a couple weeks we'll do a revisit. I'll let you know if it's still working good, if I had to send it back, or if I got to keep it and it's still working great. So that being said, guys, I'm going to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Don't forget to check out Monkey1000's channel. And uh, check out the goulash video I just uploaded. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Weekend's almost here. Have a safe one, guys. Bye-bye and take care. Okay, guys, so didn't think I could let you go like that. I got you paired up to my phone. What it is, you got to turn Wi-Fi on in the camera every time. So let's um let's get you panned over. Alright, now let's stop. See it seems a little jerky, but I'm gonna bring you back now. I don't like that jerkiness, so uh hopefully it will come out of it. I don't know but yeah see I don't like that at all it may stop doing that okay so I get you where I want to be and then I can um, zoom in here with my phone just like that so that's the yeah that's that's pretty cool uh, let's take you back out and I'll show you how far away we are There we go. Just wanted to throw that in there. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.